When it comes to lizards and iguanas, there is one place in Florida that I absolutely love to go, and one guy I love talking to. I'm speaking, of course, about my good pal, Ty Park. You might say it's a lizard love affair, and I'm okay with that. What's happening, everybody? You just missed a great kiss. I just got a kiss from Ty Park. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Oh, uh, no, I'm really excited because we're going to have... Look at that. He loves me. I love this guy. <laughs> we're going to pal around for a few episodes, but the first episode, we're going to walk inside this room. We're going to see some uh, animals that you invested quite a bit into. Yeah, um, basically a bunch of no, no, uh, blue-tongued skink uh -huh. from Australia. I, I wanted to say blue, uh, northern, but northern to the outside. Okay. These are all uh, synchoides and some of the more rare forms. Pretty okay. excited. All right, so right. what we're going to do is we're going to, on the other side of this open, we're going to come to you from inside the blue tongue room here at Ty's Lizard Farm. See you in a bit, guys. A good portion of my life has been all about action, which still holds true. But now I pour all that time and energy into wildlife conservation education, and the pursuit of knowledge. This is Camp Tenor. Thank you very much. All right. So this is the blue tongue room. All right. Uh, this room is 10 by 30. OK. And it's climate controlled, right? I mean, it's important. Do these right. guys like a cooler temperature? Is that is that why you have it climate controlled? Or is Actually, um, I want to keep them drier. Uh, it's more of being outside, being too wet okay. and humid. So we like to keep them in a control room like this. I have ten of these trailers. Okay. That's all insulated and you know electrified and stuff. So that way I could control the humidity and temperature just the way that I want it. Gotcha. Okay. Now, let's have a look at some of these guys. Now, these sure, animals sure. are native to uh, find blue tongues in Australia, but also in Indonesia, but these are all Australian lineage. Correct. How these hard was it to get these animals? Well, they're, they're pretty rare. Okay. okay. They're obviously, they're in Australia. They're on the common side. Okay. Okay. These are imported with the paperwork. Uh, gotcha. U.S. Fish and Wildlife. Can uh, I open We one? have the stamp and stuff, so they're all here legally. I don't know what other animals like this are here in the le uh, legally, yeah. but uh, I have all the paperwork on these. So fantastic. Uh, so this yeah. is, you know, that's the way, uh, the proper way to do things, guys, right. is to always get animals. You know, you know how I don't like to take animals from the wild. Now these are specifically captive bred. These are going to right. be bred for pets. Right. Of all course. Right. I like to separate the wild animal and captive bred animal, like pet animal. Uh -huh. uh, these are all morphs. So right. they do not occur in wild. Gotcha. Uh, actually, aspatalas do, but most of the animals in here are kept to bred morphs. And even the Australian, I mean, I'm sorry, aspatalas, they occur like that in the wild, but these are all multi-generation kept to bred animals. Gotcha. Okay, fantastic. So look at this thing, man. Beautiful. Yeah, Definitely a beautiful yeah. animal. Now, I'm not, you, you guys will hear me coming. I'm really not a morph yeah, guy, I know, but you can see you. the beauty in yeah. this animal. This is an albino. Okay. And there, there are different type of albinos and stuff, and this is uh, they, what they call lavender albino. Okay. Okay. So. Really beautiful. Uh, yeah, there's, you know, like any animal, there are variations within, you know, albinos or whatever. Well, that's compared to. Totally both. different looking albino here. Oh yeah. See that? Gotcha. Yeah. Look yeah. at that. That's have, really neat. Yeah, we have six of them here at the uh, facility, and we're just waiting them up. They're not ready to breed, of course. They're too small. Are these but, live bearers? Yeah, they are live really bearers. Cool. Yeah, oh. all the uh, blue tongue skinks are live bearers uh, in the genus of uh, Tiliqua. Tiliqua, yeah. Uh -huh. Shout out to Colin, Colin Schumark out there. Uh -huh. You know, Colin from yeah, the yeah, Cam sure, guys. Sure, he sure. loves his Tiliqua. Tiliqua? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. but they, these are beautiful, man. So and these are Syncoides or Eastern. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Well, let's so. see. Well, you mentioned another name. You, you, yeah, you know. I have what, what Aspatalis here. Okay, so what's that um, all about? These are naturally occurring forms. They're not more. But they're just, holy smokes, Ty, that's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. I've here, never here. seen, that's beautiful, and man. My it is. gosh. It's, uh, it's just an incredible looking animal. Uh, so. And again, like any blue tongue thing, they're very placid. They yeah. make excellent pets. And that's uh, another reason why you're interested in exactly, breeding these. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And then, you know, I like the rare stuff. Uh, but more than that, they just make excellent pets. And that's what I like to work with. Mm -hmm. Things that you know, I'm not. I'm not 
I'm producing animal that I love, right? And then I'm producing animal that I can share with others. That's and really then, cool. Yeah. And then the animals that'll thrive in a captive situation exactly. as well. So almost exactly. in many ways, some people think that reptiles can't be domesticated, but right. I don't think we've been working with reptiles enough, long enough. And I'm a firm believer that uh, domestication of reptiles has already occurred. Okay. Okay. And that, because I've worked with some of the cyclers and tegu. That's been multi-generation captive bred, okay. and they are different than one of the animals. Mm. They behave differently. Even after third or fourth generation, their behavior is different. And you know, I I treat all my animals here, and I have to say I don't have I don't I can't even remember any species that I've gotten from the wild. Right. But I tried to get everything captive bred. Um. So I feel that once you bring an animal into your home, I think you should treat them as domesticated animal because I think if you, your psychology is these are domesticated, I think you treat them better. Okay. okay? If you, you think that these are wild animal, then you kind of treat them like a wild animal. They're more like I a see, I see what you're saying. Right, That's right. my psychology behind it. Okay. And so every animal that, I, that come into the farm, I say they're no longer wild animal. We're gonna treat them as domesticated animal or try to domesticate them because they they're never gonna see the wild again. They're always gonna be pet for someone. That's what I'm. That's my goal. Hmm. So I treat them as domesticated. Animal. I even tell all my employees these are domesticated animal, okay, so that they they think that way. They Hang treat on. them better that. Way. Gotcha. So. I understand what you're saying. That makes sense. Uh, definitely part of the family for sure. Now you showed me. Yeah. I'll be honest, hey, I'm I snuck in here early. Hypermelanistic. Hypermelanistic. Right. I really like it. Kathy. Oh, by the oh. way, I want to introduce Kathy. Yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, Kathy. How you going? She's hanging uh, out. We've squeezed yeah, her into the yeah, back Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. You know, Kathy, okay. this is your room, right? Yeah. Right. And so you, you enjoy working with the blue tongues. Is, mm -hmm. you know, are they a difficult animal you know, to really care for if you were to, you know, you're maintaining how many in here? It's, uh, uh, we started out with 33, yeah, right? Yeah, you moved yeah. some. And so. then we moved some outside. So okay. we just recently moved some of the animals outside. Um, we had them for probably about six months, I'm thinking. So some of them, I thought they were, I guess, strong enough. Okay. That I wanted to actually get them outside, whereas the control isn't as, you know. Yeah, you, as, you, yeah. There's more yeah. variables outside. Exactly. But. I tell you about Kathy. She loves animals so much. Yeah. She's the kind of person who can't kill a spider. Ah. Okay. So I have to get on her when the spider is in the room. Hey, at least, you know. Hey, get him out of here. Yeah, kind of thing. Pacifist. So she's That's good. really. So I like to have somebody like her here because she keeps everybody in line. Gotcha. All right. You're the, the conscience of the place. Exactly. Right? She's the, the warden. Of the, yeah. yeah. So I like that. Good deal. And, and you know, she. You know when I give her the animal to care for, she's going to take care of it. That's awesome. Well, thank you. Let's have a look at this uh, hyper-melanistic one. one. Which yeah, one is it? Well, where does that water go, Kathy? Yeah, you can put right me to work. You. Right behind me? Which one? <laughs> okay. This one? Yeah. All right. I'm getting to work here. All right. Good, Ty, good, good. I, you know, don't forget about me when the Christmas bonuses come around. Sure, here. sure. <laughs> yeah. I like messing with this guy. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is gorgeous, man. This is called hyper Melanism. Because it's um, got a lot of black. There's yeah, more I black than think, you know, I don't know for sure, but I think they call that because the heterozygous is visual heterozygous. Oh. They're darker. So when you get heterozygous, for instance, if you breed this with normal, okay. you you know, people say, okay, the three quarters of them will be uh, possible head, right? Right. Okay, in this case, you'll see 25% black. black you see 50% that you could actually say this are 100% hats. Uh, yeah, hats okay. because they're visually different than the normal. Than the other normal normals. But then you'll also have a, a selection and of animals that are normal right, exactly. holding 25%. the gene. Yeah, 25% normal, 50% uh, hyper. Okay. I mean, I, I'm sorry, 50% head for hi uh, hyper. And Crazy. those happen to be outside right now. So. so just really quickly, their diet, you know, if someone has a blue tongue skink, what, what are they feeding this animal? Um, what kind of caging does it need? If you guys want to run over that really okay, quick. Okay, well, the folks basically, home. I'm going to pull this out and show you what we do here. Okay. okay. Um, I kept blue tongue skink for 30 plus years. 
right? Okay. okay. And no, mostly northern blue tongue skin. Um, this is how we do it indoors. All right. This is a three feet by two feet tub. Mm -hmm. All right. So we are using mulch right now. We used to use paper, but they tend to be very messy. They push the paper around and stuff. So we decided to use the mulch. And it, mulch is very ba basically gold to substrate for us. Right. But it's very inexpensive. And I know people worry about impact. In yeah. yeah. And you know, we haven't had literally no problem with any animal ingesting but I also and getting see, But I see that you're feeding the animals on a plate as well. They're in oh, a bowl you're feeding. You gotta make sure you can minimize that just by feeding the animal on a large dish. Absolutely okay? very right. And in this, so in this case, we have this hay here, so they could hide under. Okay. Okay. And they have a hot spot, which is 60 watt. Okay. okay. And right now, they do not have any UV light. Okay. Okay. I've experimented with both having them UV light and without UV light, and it really doesn't make any difference. Okay. In their health. Okay. Gotcha. Having said that. For beginners, I would always recommend UV light, right. okay, because um, unless your diet is perfect, okay, exactly. you're going to have some problem. Okay. So, so diet-wise, we feed them cat food and dog food, commercial diet, dry, because this has been tested for years, and they're, they do very well on it. Matter of fact, I have northern blue tongue thing out there that I got them from baby that's going on 26 years old. Wow, like, fantastic. It's still producing. Wow. Okay. Good deal, yeah. Yeah, so, so water. And, and of course water, yeah, that's a very water. easy way to yeah, clean. Okay. And uh, that's it. And okay. the maintenance is incredibly easy. Yeah. And again, they're in a situation where they are producing these animals for pets. It's a, it's it's a farm. So when you guys are at home, you can get a little bit more creative if Absolutely. you'd like to. Like Absolutely. you were talking about a domestic animal, you want to spoil that animal a little bit more. You can go ahead and do that, right, right. but the minimum amount, a minimum amount of space for an adult would be about what? Yeah, I would think that this is about the minimum. Gotcha. Really, because I, you know, I tend to go large. I mean, I like to give yeah, animal yeah. space and stuff. You know, and, and and I've seen people give them smaller, like a more slider, less, uh, like height? not even light. Okay. Uh, wow. Yeah, and, I don't like that. And you know, I, I said I don't like it, but. I'm not gonna complain about that because if it worked for them, right? Okay, I'm not gonna. I have nothing else to say about that. You know, I've seen too many people arguing over things on the internet, and and I don't like that. If it worked for you, I have nothing to say. Fair enough. Okay, because that's their experience. I can't. I don't have that experience that they have. Gotcha. Okay? Copy that. So, uh, I'm gonna show you one more. Oh yeah, um, yeah, that's right. We have one more. It's a yeah, totally different species. I show though. You, you don't normally see these guys in in North America, do you? No, not too much. There's one. There oh my God, that is sick. Yeah, shingleback, this, man. Yeah, this is a shingleback. Yeah, I actually had hands on one of these when I visited Australia in 2014. Right. Um, and it was just really cool. But this is an armored little beast, huh? Yeah, these are just, you know, I mean, what can you say about something like this, right? I mean, I'm just happy to have them, yeah. yeah. And just, you know, when you get an animal like this, they're not gonna make money for you, right? Okay, because they have one baby, two at most, maybe every other year if you're lucky, mm -hmm. right? I like just having them here, right? Because I just look at this thing. I mean, Beautiful. it's such a unique animal. It is unique, okay? man. Okay, and this was kept bred. Obviously, by you look, looking at them, one animal isn't gonna look like this. Right, it's right. It's gonna be missing head. digits or right, limb exactly. or chewed up. And, but this uh, is a immaculate. Little right, critter. and that's a oh, pair yeah. right oh, there. Wow. That's a girl, and that's a boy. And basically, these guys get a little different food. We do give them green, just okay. like an iguana diet, okay. And then once a week, we give them cat food, oh. okay. So, gotcha. but basically, they get fruit and vegetable. Awesome. And one of the things that is key to this species is that you gotta keep them really, really dry. Uh, I see. And that's why these yeah. would never be outside. Never, ever. Here, okay. Right? Fair so they enough. would always be indoors. Are they in the same genus as the blue tongue? I'm or, sorry? Are they the same? Yeah, thing? they're, they're Taliqua. Uh -huh. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. Well, there you have it. A little uh, Taliqua. Taliqua. You kind of Taliqua with me <laughs> at the beginning know. of this. He gave me a little kiss. He said he would have gone in a little wetter, but I have this. I have my own shingle back here beard. Uh, thank you, Kathy. 
Uh, say, say goodbye to everyone, Kathy. Bye. We're signing <laughs> off here. Uh, there'll be much more with Ty Park in the weeks to come. We have so much more to see here at this facility. Always a pleasure hanging out with this guy. We'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for your uh, hospitality. Anytime. All right. Anytime. See you soon.